tis the season to be pregnant. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's the season. I just wanted to acknowledge this. So get it out of your system. It's happening. It's going to happen. And now, tis the season. This is a holiday class so that you can get out of your heads and bring your attention inward. I find that the holidays, although can be an awesome time of year, they can also be extremely stressful and we can often feel um, stuck and, and weighted and heavy for a plethora of different reasons. So I really want this hour-long sequence to be about moving things around, letting things go, putting stuff aside, making it be your hour to move and stretch and sweat and get a really solid yoga class in. So today we have Papo and Mandy, and I've asked them to start lying on their backs with their knees bent, and just let your eyes close. Take a moment to just feel the grounding of your heels on your mat, feel the back of your head, okay? Feel anything that's actually touching the mat. Just get a little more grounded, a little more still. We're gonna start right away with moving, with a little bit of stretching. Hug your knees into your chest. Give them a squeeze in. Mm, keep your right leg squeezing. Stretch your left leg out. And I just want you to bring your attention to these simple stretches and movements. Drop it over to the side. Take a gentle twist. Have your right arm reach out. Have your tailbone elongate. Have your bottom leg stay straight. And then come back to center. Hug both knees in and switch sides. Hug your left leg in. Stretch your right leg out. Drop it over to the side. So one of the things about your practices you can count on when you show up is that you move things around. Things will move just by getting onto your mat. And then come back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. Take a very gentle, happy baby pose. Grab the outer edges of your feet. And just bring all your attention to whatever little stretches or sensations are coming up in the posture. Have your heels over your knees. And then very slowly, you take an upside down Baddha Konasana. Bring the soles of your feet together. Give them a squeeze into the chest. Upside down Baddha Konasana. Give them a nice squeeze in. And then hug both knees in. Ah, take a few rolls on your spine up and down. And just give them the back a massage. And you're going to roll yourself all the way up and come on to all fours. So we're going to cultivate the breath with using cat cow, which is a great pose to start to move even more, particularly in our spine. So neutral in the spine, and then start to breathe in and out through your nose. As you inhale, start to lift your sternum up, feel your thoracic spine, the mid-spine melt. As you exhale, press the ground away and round the spine. Bring all your attention to this. Inhale, a breath, a simple movement. Exhale, a breath out, a simple stretch. Three more times. Breathe deeply, nourishingly, like you're drinking the breath in. And then exhale, rounding. Empty the whole breath out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, round. And then one more. Inhale. Lift the sternum just a little bit higher. Exhale, round the whole posture. Let every drop of breath out. And then come back to a more neutral spine, curl your toes, lift your hips, press back to downward facing dog. Let's just do a couple stretches here. Pedal your feet back and forth, bend one knee, melt the opposite heel down. And so much of the practice is where you're bringing your attention towards, where you're really bringing your focus. So right now, breath and the movements. As one knee bends, feel the opposite heel, Achilles get a little bit more stretched, and vice versa. And then step your feet all the way together. Have your big toes touching. Lift your right leg up to the ceiling. Open it, bend it, stretch it out. Keep the breath streaming, fluid, nourishing. Straighten the leg out. And then gently square the hips, set the foot down. Inhale the left leg up. Go for height, go for stretch. Open it up, bend it, stretch it out. Mm, don't hold your breath even for one second. And then straighten the leg and square the hips. And set the foot down. Separate your feet hips width apart. On your next inhale, shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. Let's pause here. Have your shoulders over your wrists. I want you to feel the quality of your inhale. So what's exactly happening? As you inhale, the lungs are expanding. You're filling up with a little bit more oxygen. Okay, and then that sensation of emptying. 
as you exhale. And when you empty, you could let gravity kind of push you down, but instead, draw a little bit of your lower abdomen up towards the back body. Get just the slightest bit of buoyancy from your center. So you feel strong from the center and can possibly emanate that energy outwards. Three more breaths here. As you inhale, pull the top of your sternum a little forward, feel the muscles in the arms hug. As you exhale, keep that sense of the lower abdomen lifted up. Two more breaths. Give your calves a stretch back. Good. Give your gaze a stretch forward. And then hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Put your movement and your breath together. Shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. And then shift more forward. Bend your arms, chaturanga. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Go back up to plank from your core center. Pull it back to downward facing dog. If this is too much, come onto your knees. You got three more. Inhale forward to plank. And then shifting, exhale lower to chaturanga. Pin those forearms in. Straight up to plank, inhale. Face relaxed. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing. Again, inhale forward. Engage the legs. Exhale, bend and lower, chaturanga. Straight line up to plank. Exhale, pull it back. And on the last one, inhale forward. I call this the 10 second chaturanga. Exhale, Y, 10, 9, obviously 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, keep breathing, 2, 1, come all the way down, release, all the way down, I'm not that mean. Interlace your hands, <laughs> stretch them back, lift your chest up. So hands interlace, the shoulders will lift, have the tops of your feet nice and firm, and then as your shoulders lift, get a little bit of a lift from your head, feel your collarbones spreading. Soften the muscles in your face. Take one more breath. Lift a little higher in your chest. And then softly set it all down. And bring your palms by your side. Okay, elbows are bent. I'm going to have you pin your forearms in. Lift your shoulder heads up onto the back. And then curl your toes under. Engage your legs. Forehead is still down. Take an inhale here. And slowly, chaturanga as you exhale. Keep the elbows, forearms pinned in. Inhale to plank, straight line up, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Nicely done. Walk your hands back to your feet. All the way, all the way back. Clasp hold of your elbows. Relax the crown of the head down. And use this forward fold to release just anything still lingering in the mind. So the mind is, oh, it's so powerful. It takes a little too much control over our lives. So all the stuff, all your to-do lists, all of your responsibilities, all of your maybe travel plans, anything that just doesn't serve you on your mat, which really is everything that's off the mat, let it go as best you can. See it leaving through the exhale. Fill yourself up with any nourishment, energy that you need as you inhale. Interlace your hands. Give them a nice stretch up and over. Put a bend in your knees if you need to. And make this practice a time for you. So I'm sure that a lot of us are running around like crazy, lots of things we have to take care of, giving a lot of ourselves time and energy. Make this about a place that you can almost refuel, re-nourish, and move things around. Hands to the hips. Inhale to come up. All the way up. Step to the front of your mats. Let's take some sun salutes. So I love the sun salutes because they're methodical. It's one breath per pose. Gets us out of our head and moves everything. Palms open. Inhale. Reach your arms up overhead. Look up. Palms together. Exhale. Hinge at the hips. Forward fold all the way down. Come on to your fingertips. Look forward. Soft shoulders. Step back to plank for the first one. Pause in your plank pose. On an exhale, chaturanga. And then come into your first up dog. Inhale. Shoulders over wrists. Pull it back as you exhale. Downward facing dog. And as your hands evenly root, get your arms nice and straight. Get your hips to lift up out of the root of the hands. And let's start moving more. Bend the knees. Look forward. Step or jump. End of your breath. Inhaling. Flat back. Exhaling. Forward fold. And then inhale. Fill the lungs up. Come all the way up to standing. Look up. Reach up. Stretch. Exhale. Hands release. All right. Inhale. Arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Get a long spine, gaze ahead, and then it's your choice. Step or jump it back, chaturanga. 
lower down. Inhale, upward facing, ground the whole hand, sternum rising, pull it back, downward facing, two, three breaths. Whole hand presses. Good, spin your fingertips out if your shoulders feel a little extra tight, so you get the outer upper arms to wrap, and so you feel a little bit more space in the back of the neck, shoulder blade area. Bend your knees, look where you want to go, step, hop it up. Inhaling, right away, next breath. Exhaling, fold. Press your feet, rise on up, inhale, stretch, lift, exhale. Let's do two more. Inhale, arms rise up. Exhale, empty the breath, strong legs, fold. Inhale, fill the lungs up, gaze slightly ahead, step or float it back through Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing, sternum way up, exhaling, downward facing. Smooth, rhythmic breath. Have your breath be representative of maybe the energy you'd like your practice to have. As you smoothly inhale, stretch back. As you find empty, look forward, step or float, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Last one. Inhale, fill your lungs up. Exhale, empty. Inhale, gaze slightly ahead, fill up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, pause. Exhale, downward facing. Nicely done. All right, stretch your right leg back behind you. This time, keep the hips square. Drop your left hip a little bit more into the center line. Shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. Draw your right knee toward your right tricep. So the hip's going to open a little. Good. Lift it as high as you can. Keep both arms straight. Have your gaze soft. Have the muscles in your face relaxed. Work the lower abdomen just a little bit more. Two more breaths. See how high you can lift that knee. Nice. One more. Bring the knee to center. Step it forward. Back foot flat at an angle. Okay. I'm going to ask that you line up heel to arch. You're going to place your right forearm to the right thigh, and the left arm is going to go up to the ceiling. A little hip warmer before we go into the Bs. Good. So track your knee right over your ankle. Feel your right hip firm in to the center line. And as you do that, try to elongate the right side of your waist. So you'll feel right now it might be a little bit wrinkled. Stretch the right side of your waist towards the crown of your head. Melt the left rib cage. That's it. And now reach your top arm overhead. Wrap that tricep all the way down. Beautiful. You can either stay here. If you want it more challenging, reach your bottom arm overhead as well. It's just challenging is working the muscles a little bit harder sometimes. Breathing here. Keep the back leg nice and firm. Keep the seal of your back foot present into the mat. You're going to take two more breaths. Descend into the right heel. Roll the chest open a little bit more. Right arm down, left arm up. Come up to the second warrior. Gazing ahead. Five breaths. Keep that nice deep bend in your front thigh. Excellent. Keep the back leg very straight. As if you were just beginning your practice right now, reintroduce Ujjayi. In through the nose, out through the nose. Two more breaths. Lift up into the sternum. Sink down into that front leg. Beautiful. One more. Fill it up. Hands to the mat. Step it back into plank pose. Top of a push-up. Lower to chaturanga. Exhale the whole breath. Pause and up dog. Two breaths here. Lift higher into the sternum. Melt deeper into the shoulder blades. Downward facing dog. Exhale it back. And then left side. Lift the left leg up. Mm, square the hips by firming the opposite hip in. And then shift forward. Knee to the left arm. Knee to the left arm. Good. Pause. Let's visualize a male dog peeing. That's another way to describe the posture. <laughs> it's true. Firm the arms, but soften the face. So you make sure you're using the correct muscle groups, not adding any type of strain. Oh, one more breath. Lift it a little higher. Bring it back to center. Slowly step the foot forward. Back foot pivots. And you line up heel to arch. Place the left forearm onto the left thigh. Nice. Send your right arm up to the ceiling and descend into that left heel. Firm into the left hip, 
and have that feeling of length, like you're taking off, stretching the left side of your waist. And then reach your top arm overhead. And as you wrap that tricep down, feel the outer edge of your back foot sealing to the mat and your back leg nice and straight like an anchor. And then either stay here or make it harder. Bring your bottom arm to meet the top arm and breathe. Feel the feet descend, the toes relax. Feel the breath go a little further into the depth of your core as the facial muscles soften. Use the exhales, open the chest a little bit more. Excellent. And then slowly, left arm down if you reached it, top arm up. Virabhadrasana two, come on up, ooh, keep the bend. <laughs> Gaze beyond the fingertips and reintroduce the breath as if you were sitting for the first time today on your mat, ujjayi, in through the nose, bend as you exhale, stand as tall as you can. There's no tension, no extraneous effort, just hard work in a lot of these postures. Last two, get the arms a little stronger, get the back of the neck a little softer. And then on your exhale, hands to the mat, step it back into plank, top of a push-up, lower to chaturanga as you exhale, and then two deep breaths and up dog, sternum rising, shoulder blades melting, pull it back to downward facing dog, beautiful. Mm, feet come together please, shift forward to plank pose, top of a push-up, roll to the outer edge of your right foot, and stack your feet, and then stack your hips and stack your shoulders. So flex your feet a lot. And then, so we get a little wobbly here, particularly in the hips. Have your top hip move just a little bit more forward than the bottom hip. And at the same time, lengthen that tailbone towards your active feet. Good. Now reach and stretch your top arm overhead. Wrap that tricep in. And again, ujjayi, smooth breath, even when the body's a little off balance. Beautifully done. Last two. Lift the chest a little higher. Keep that top hip moving forward as you roll the left rib cage back. Left arm up. Gorgeous. Come back to plank. Top of a push up. Shift forward. Classical vinyasa. Chaturanga. Exhale. And then a deep breath to up dog. Inhale. Pull it back to down dog. Exhale. And then feet together. Shift forward to plank. Top of a push up. And roll to the other side, outer edge of the left. We look for a balance in a one-arm pose. Flex the feet a lot. And again, as the feet flex and the pinky toes lift up, move your top hip just a little bit more forward than you think. Send the tailbone long and send the sternum to the crown of the head. Reach top arm overhead. Right away, come into ujjayi breath. Balanced, nourishing, smooth. Why isn't your top arm overhead, Papo? I did. You weren't listening. Wait, one more <laughs> breath. Open your chest. And then right arm up. Come back to plank, top of a push up. Pause in your plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing. And pull it back, downward facing. Selective hearing is so fascinating, isn't it? Take a very deep breath, stretch back. Look forward, step or jump feet to hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Take an extra breath. Relax the back of your neck. Shake the head no. Yes, get rid of any crankiness. And then bend your knees, drop your hips. Utkatasana. Just a breath. Come on in. Press up to standing. Hands to the heart center. Good. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Chair. A couple more than one breath. Pause here. Look down at your toes for a moment. Make sure you can see them. Shift the weight. Keep looking. Shift the weight back into your heels. Good. And then look forward. Mm -hmm. Just forward. Not even up yet. Draw your shins back as you descend the weight into your heels. And as you draw the shins back and descend the weight into your heels, I want you to lift your frontal hip points up like beams of light a little higher. And then I want you to not bring your arms back more. I want you to reach them up. Up, good. Soften the back of the neck like you just did in that forward fold. Now two more breaths. Fill your lungs up a little more. Look up. Bring those palms to touch. Exhale, forward fold. Let it go. Oh. Inhale, look forward. Step your left leg back behind you. Drop your back knee. Uncurl your toes. Low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up. And a lot of warm up before the bees. Bend nice and deep into your front thigh. 
And as you descend deeply into that front thigh, press the top of your back foot down and start to lift those hip points up again. Excellent. Now, you're going to grab onto your left wrist with your right hand, Simon says, and then stretch it to the right. Ah. So I want you to feel a big stretch in the groin psoas area. Keep bending, keep leaning back and lifting up, and then open the chest and stretch it to the side. Excellent. Oh, I wish I was doing this. And then come back to center, and then bring your hands to the mat. Pause, curl your back toes under, straighten the back leg, back foot flat at an angle. Line up heel to heel, come up to your first warrior. Hmm, good. Straighten your front leg for a moment. Good. Lean back into the pose. Mm -hmm. Lean back and have your back, not that far, anchor the back leg a lot. Drop the tailbone, lift the hip points. Good. Now, keep that sensation. Bend your front leg 90 degrees. Excellent. Five more breaths. So feel this whole muscle group stretching as you descend a little deeper. Now think of what you did in chair pose. You started to lift the hip points. You started to lift the energy and breath a little higher up towards the top of the lungs and sternum. Wrap the upper arms. No tension in the back of the neck. Last two. Look up. Bring those palms to touch. And hands to the mat. Excellent. Step back to plank, top of a push-up. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing dog. You should feel pretty uneven at this point. <laughs> we just worked the whole right side. Bend your knees a lot. Look forward. Jump the feet to meet the hands. Haven't forgotten. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Again, soften. Back of the neck relaxed. Bend the knees. Drop the hips. Gentle chair. Press to standing. And hands to the heart center. Bend the knees. Drop the hips. Chair pose and pause. Again, look down at your toes. Make sure they're spread, not tense. Shift the weight into the heels. Gaze ahead. Feel your shins move back. And as your shins move back, descend the weight into the heels. Drop your tailbone. Lift your hip points up off your thighs. Good. Don't have your arms so far by your ears back that it congests. Have them a little forward. Last three breaths. Lift through the pinky finger inner arm. Soften a bit through the trapezius of the upper back. Now breathe a little more. Inhale, look up. Palms touch. Forward fold. Exhale, let it go. Mm. Inhale, softly lift the chest and gaze. Right leg steps back behind you. Drop the back knee and curl the toes. Low lunge. I like to say that word. Inhale, come up. Low lunge. Bend nice and deep in your front leg. Good. As you bend nice and deep. Feel that you're pressing the top of your right foot down. And then it's almost a sensation that you're leaning back. Bend a little deeper, Papo, and then lift the hip points. Now grab onto your right hand with your left wrist. Stretch it to the side. Let's put all these little movements together. Mm -hmm. Keep leaning back. Keep lifting the hip points in the chest. And just feel that magnificent stretch in this very large muscle group. Come back to center, and then both arms down. Curl the back toes under, straighten the back leg. Back foot pivots at an angle. Heel to heel, come on up to your first warrior pause. You're gonna slowly straighten your front leg, okay? Seal the back foot, firm the leg as an anchor, and then as you lean back into it, lift your hip points up, your arms up, and now bend into your front leg 90. To keep the essence of what you just felt in the back leg thigh area. Five breaths. Try to bend 90. Mm -hmm. And then, as if once again, reintroduce the fluidity, the nourishment, the calmness of Ujjayi. We can lose that quickly, but we bring it right back. That's the essence of the whole practice. The quiet mind, the calmness within each moment of each pose. Bend a little more, look up, palms touch, hands to the mat, step it back into plank, lower down, exhale, chaturanga. Deep breath to up dog, lift high up into the sternum, pull it back to downward facing dog, beautifully done. Take a big breath in through your nose, exhale it out your mouth, look forward, inhale, stretch back, 
Empty the breath, step hop, feet to hands. Mm, inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold, soft back of the neck. Bend the knees, drop the hips, utkatasana chair pose, press to standing, hands to the heart. I'm stuck here for this first round. Bend the knees, drop the hips, chair, utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold, uttanasana is kicking. Ardha uttanasana, halfway. Chaturanga, don't stop me from leading B salutes though. Up dog, deep breath in. Down dog back, enjoy the movement. Right foot forward, find that back leg and anchor it. Rise up, lean back, stretch to the top, look up and exhale, let it go. Step back to plank, breath to lower, mm, breath to back bend, and a breath to pull you back. Left foot forward, back foot pivots. Inhale, rise, arrive, and exhale, release. Step it back, lower down, upward facing, gorgeous, pull it back to downward facing and pause here. Root your hands, come back to the simplicity of most of these postures. Right above those hands, firm the arms to straight. Mm, above that, lift the hips up and back. Good, draw the thighs back, feel the hamstrings opening. Give your toes a spread, just move in energy, bend the knees, end of the breath. Step, hop, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop in deep. Utkatasana, chair. Press to standing. Hands to the heart. We do it two more. Inhale, drinkable breath. Exhale, forward fold. Mm, look forward, halfway. Chaturanga, just moving. We imprinted all the details of alignment. Up dogs, so let it feel good. Down dog, back. Right foot forward, back foot pivots. Find the anchor, rise up, stretch up, and smoothly exhale, vinyasa. Take it through. Urdva, up dog, breathe in. And Adho Mukha, down dog out. Left foot forward on the exhale, back foot pivots. And find the anchor, rise up tall, arrive, and exhale, let it go through your vinyasa. Pause and down dog. Check in to see where your energy is at. Some days we need more, some days we need less. Some days we need to take a little more breaks. Some days we need to push ourselves. So the key is to stay present, okay? Stay present. Bend your knees, look forward, step, pop it up. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips, chair pose. Press to stand, hands to the heart center. Take two steps back, crow pose, round three. Mm, stay present, bend the knees, drop the hips, utkatasana. This is not supposed to be easy. Exhale, but can you make the breath easy, fold. Inhale, look forward, okay. Separate the knees, bend them deeply, reach your arms out in front of you. Go slow, don't miss a beat with the breath. Shift the inner knees onto the upper arms. Shift the weight into your hands. If you're new to this, take a foot up maybe. If you're not, maybe both feet. And then maybe straighten the arms a little more. Spread your toes, soften a little nook in the face. Look forward, if it's available, chaturanga. And vinyasa, up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. All right, right foot forward, back foot pivots, finish round B, finish round three of your Bs. Inhale, rise up, exhale, hands to the mat, step it back through your vinyasa, take the left side on your own. You know, you're walking around, life's going smoothly, and then boom, there's a bakasana in your way. It's all your approach. And as I keep saying, even in the beginning, you stay present, you keep reintroducing the breath. And it's, it's just a healthier, more conscious, mindful approach to situations that will change the outcome. So it's one of the reasons I love the yoga practice and it keeps me, in, it's a lifelong interest. All right, look forward, step, jump, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway. Never gets born. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, drop your hips. Utkatasana. Press to stand. 
Hands to the heart center. Nicely done. Okay, early twist. Bend the knees, drop the hips, chair pose. Because we don't really eat well during the holidays. Exhale, hands to the heart. Early little detox. Left elbow, right leg. Go slow. Got a lot of heat. Sit a little deeper into the heels. Get long in the spine. And then stay here. Add a different variation. Use the exhale to twist and open the upper body. As you descend a little more into the heels. As you exhale, really feel what's happening in this twist. Kind of visualize the shape of your mid to upper body. Two more breaths. Squeezing out the kidney, the liver, getting rid of anything in the lungs. Nice. Come back to chair pose. One breath here. Press to standing. Pull the hands to your heart center. Good. Other side. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Chair, inhale. Exhale. Hands to the heart, right elbow, left leg. Get a twist. Descend into the heels, no extraneous energy in the toes. Get long in your spine, and then use the exhale. Decide if you want to go a little deeper by right arm down, left arm up or not. And then again, you take the time, use the exhale to twist. Use the exhale to really get a little visual of just that movement of that certain part of your back in towards your chest, that expansion of your chest. Two more breaths. Exhale. Anything you don't want, need, get it out through the exhale. Come back to chair pose. One breath here. This time forward fold. Exhale. Look forward as you breathe in. Step, float it back. Chaturanga. This is a challenging flow. I know. Upward facing. Inhale. Downward facing. Exhale. Step your right foot forward. Pivot the back foot at an angle. Come on up, Vera 1. Inhale, rise. And then open it up to Vera 2 as you exhale. Heel to arch, revisiting the second warrior. Float your arms out on a long visit. Bend 90 degrees. Ground the front heel. Seal the back foot. And then we're going to try to get the crease of this left hip to draw into the center line as the crease of the right hip Pulls back. Ooh, this is making her shake. These are the muscles. Good. Now a very gentle reverse warrior. Very gentle. Left arm down. Top arm up and over. Try not to disturb those little creases of the hips. Get a nice side body stretch. Good. Relax the toes. You can always take a quick break and straighten the leg if you need to. Or you can torture yourself and bend another inch. And then, ooh, this arm's straight, Mandy. And then pass through center. Place your hand to the inside, top arm up to the ceiling. Right hand down, top arm up. And I want you to refine that little crease of the hip. Not easy. So visualize my pinky finger <laughs> drawing into the crease of the thigh hip area. And at the same time, this one draws back. So this creates stability in the pelvis. Firm the leg. Elongate the right side of your waist. And now you're going to come into a half wrap or a full wrap. Your choice. So bring the top arm behind you. Mm -hmm. Deep hips, deep shoulders. Maybe a full wrap for some of you. And reiterate the right hip in, crease back. Good. The left crease dropping down. Almost like your left thigh is dropping down. Nice. Now get long off that front leg. Mm -hmm. Consider straightening that left arm. Mm, you could grab a wrist if you want. Yes. Open the chest. Two more breaths, like you're introducing this breath to a friend at this moment. Come up to the second warrior. Look down slowly. Arrive. Be here. Hands to the mat. Step it back into plank, top of a push-up, vinyasa, or straight to down dog, your choice. Upward facing is the breath in. Downward facing is the breath out. Step your left foot forward. Pivot the back foot on an angle. Vera one, rise up, and open up Vera two, exhale, heel to arch, again, a little bit of a revisit, heel to arch, seal the back foot, stamp the left heel, okay, what I want you to feel is, a little crease right here, drawing in, like you're dropping the right hip thigh down, but at the same time, drawing the left crease back, mm -hmm. so there's nice and solid in the pelvic floor. Bend a little more in your front leg, and then a very gentle reverse warrior today. Right arm down, just gentle. Reach the top arm, keep the arms straight, 
This is to feel stable in your pelvis and stretched in your side rib area. Nice. And then come back to center. Don't collapse the left side on your thigh. Left hand to the inside. Mm-hmm. Top arm up and pause. Good. And we create this area creasing and drop the outer right hip. Draw the outer left one in. Get long in the left side of your body. And then top arm behind you. Half wrap or full wrap. Your choice. And breath. I'm going to say this instruction right away. What if you were introducing a friend who had never felt ujjayi? How would you describe it to him? Could you make your breath similar to that right now? So no matter how hard we work, there's a calmness to it. There's a quiet to it. There's a sense of complete attention and effortlessness. Last two. Gorgeous. And then look down. Slowly come up to the second warrior. Pause to be here at the top. <laughs> Hands to the mat. Step it back. Take your vinyasa. Wind up in downward facing dog. Really nicely done. That was not easy. Deep breath in your up dog. Pull it back as you exhale. Downward facing dog. Gorgeous. All right. Take a nice full breath in. Bend your knees a lot. Look forward. Step hot feet to hands. Inhaling halfway. Exhaling. Fold. Circle your arms, come all the way up to standing stretch. Hands to the heart center, nicely done. Okay, so take a step back. You're gonna place your hands on your hips and do balancing pose. So make a hook, grab the mound of the right big toe and just pause. So with your right hand, mm -hmm. left hand's gonna be on the hip, the crease of the hip. And you're gonna draw the crease of the hip in. Mm -hmm. and you're gonna lift your hip points up Good, and then slowly straighten your right leg or you can grab on to the shin, your choice. Breathe here. Pick one point to gaze at. Ah, balance your breath. <laughs> fall in, fall out. All right, and then you're gonna bring the leg out to the side, the right, slowly. Breathing, the whole time, such Minute attention to the details of your body right now to stay balanced. Bring the leg back to center. Pause. Bring your hands on your hips. Pause. Straighten your leg if it was bent and pause. Good. Reach your arms up overhead for a moment. Bring your hands back to your hips. Lift your right leg one more inch. Cross the right ankle over the left knee. Surprise ending. Bend your left leg. Drop the left hip, keep it firmed in. Balance, pull the creases of the hips back, pull your chest forward, flex your right foot, either pause here or bring your hands down onto the mat. If your hands went down onto the mat, hook your right foot around the left tricep, pause, shift forward into the hands, bend your arms a lot, consider the arm balance flying pigeon. Don't stop breathing. What if you were to describe Ujjayi right now to somebody? Exit of your choice. Chaturanga or come up or see what happens and then release it. Nicely done. Oh. Okay, these guys are going to jump forward. We're going to take the other side. So those of you standing, pick a gazing point. Hands to the hips. Come on up from your vinyasa. All right, and we do the other side. So make a hook, grab the mound of the left big toe. Have your right hand on your hip. Firm the right outer hip in. Lift the hip points up, stand nice and tall. And then maybe straighten the front leg. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't say bring it out. It's just a straighten. Yep. Good. Keep an eye on this guy. Bring the leg out to the side. This is all about getting out of our heads. It's all it is. Every pose an opportunity to be present, to get out of our heads, to give our bodies more breath. Bring it back to center slowly. Mm -hmm. Bring your hands to your hips. Pure attention to everything to balance. And then bring your arms up to the ceiling. Give your leg a little more juice. Work those muscles a little more. Bring your hands back onto the hips. Bend your left leg. Cross the ankle over the knee. Pause. 
Ooh, find those pauses. Don't rush. Bend your right leg. Drop the hip. Mm. Crease of the right hip drawing in. Left foot flexed. Bring ooh, hands down onto the mat. <laughs> mm, and maybe we fly our pigeons. If you're new to this, don't worry about a thing. There's tutorials you can look up online. Breathe. Shifting, ujjayi breath, releasing, letting go. Wind up in downward facing dog. If you didn't go through the whole shebang of the arm balance, take a vinyasa sun salute. Wind up in downward facing dog, please. Okay. One more standing pose. Step your right foot forward. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Come on up to crescent. Inhale, reach up, stretch up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Hook the left elbow, right leg. Okay, so just two twists. That first one that started all these standing poses, and then this last one. Firm your back leg a lot. Good. Pivot your right hip in. And then any stage with the arms that you'd like. And you can start to slide that left elbow tricep a little further down. Nice. And open. Use your exhale to twist. Maybe just feel all the heat, the sweat dripping off of you, detoxifying. Last three breaths. Each exhale, get a little more spreading of your collarbones, a little more melting of your shoulder blades. Good. One more. Hands to the mat. Beautiful. Step back to plank pose, top of a push up. Take it through. Chaturanga, exhale. And then upward facing inhale, downward facing exhale. Step your left foot forward. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Come on up to crescent pose. Inhale, arms rise. And then exhale, hands to the heart, and hook the right to the left. Go slow, and again, you're bringing all your attention here at the present moment. Firm your back leg. So, so much of why we feel good, yes, of course, it's the asana, but it's also this gear shift. It's bringing our attention, our energy, our awareness here inside and letting go of all the stuff on the outside. Good, couple more breaths. Bring your tension to your twists. Wide collarbones, melted shoulder blades. Big lift in the chest. Gorgeous. Hands to the mat. Step it back. Take it through your vinyasa. Upward facing. Pull it back to downward facing. Excellent. All right. Look way past your hands. Step or jump through to sitting. Lie into your backs. It really wouldn't be a holiday joyous occasion <laughs> sequence if we didn't do an early Shavasana. <laughs> no, if we didn't do core. Hug your knees into your chest. <laughs> pause here. Squeeze them in and pause. Take a gentle twist. Gentle twist. Drop them over to the left. Mm hmm. Ah, that's yummy. Bring them back to center. Drop them over to the right. Ah. Bring them back to center. All right. So bend your knees. Have them on the mat. Mm -hmm. Have the feet on the mat, separated hips width apart. Listen to instruction. Bring your hands behind your head. Okay. The inhale is here. As you exhale, lift your chest up. Mm -hmm. As you inhale, reach your arms and legs forward. As you exhale, come up to Navasana. Ooh. As you inhale, Ardha Navasana. Good. Place your feet, knees bent back on the mat, hands behind the head, sit up, and then release it. So it's each pose building and then reversing. Inhale here. Exhale, sit up. Inhale, legs and arms reach, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, Navasana, bent knees. Inhale, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, hands behind the head, chest up, knees bent, feet on the floor, sit up, and release it. That last part's the hardest. We'll do it three more times in case you were confused. Exhale, lift your chest up. Inhale, legs and arms forward. Exhale, Navasana, come up. Inhale, Ardha Navasana, lower. Exhale, hands behind the head, knees bent, feet down, chest up. And inhale, lower down. Two more. Exhale, chest up. Inhale, arms and legs forward. Exhale, Navasana. 
Inhale, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, knees bend, feet down, chest up. And inhale, lower. Last one. Exhale, chest up. Inhale, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, Navasana. Inhale, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, knees bent, chest up. And lower down. Nicely done. Squeeze your right leg into your chest. We're not done yet, though. Left leg goes out in front of you. Pause. Just get a nice squeeze in. Lift your chin up towards your knee. Pause. Lift your left leg one inch off the mat. Bring your hands behind your head. Twist to your right, interlace, index finger and thumb, an oldie but goodie. Straighten your right leg up, might be brand new for you. And then you're going to move a little. Lower as you exhale the leg down, lift it as you inhale. Same leg, it's new for Mandy. Lower as you exhale, same leg, lift as you inhale. That's it, you're doing it. Lower as you exhale, lift as you inhale. Two more, lower as you exhale, lift as you inhale. One more, lower. Come back to center with your torso. Lower, bring your hands behind your head. Look up, see the ceiling. Oh, and release it down. Oh, hug your left leg in. Pause. So if that's too much, you go back and forth, in and out, in and out. Chin to the knee, hands behind your head. Good, twist to your left. Right leg is one inch off the mat. Interlace everything, index finger and thumb. So I'm gonna have you actually bend your knee on this side, make it a little easier. Left leg up to the ceiling. Good, lower it down as you exhale, lift it as you inhale. There you go, lower as you exhale, lift as you inhale, face relax, lower as you exhale, lift as you inhale, two more, lower as you exhale, lift as you inhale, last one, lower as you exhale, pause, come back to center with your torso, both legs out, hands behind the head, one breath, see the ceiling, and then let it go. Ah, hug your knees into your chest, nicely done. Nicely done. Take a squeeze into your knees and then place your feet onto the mat. Separate your feet hips width apart. Okay. Lift your hips up. Interlace your hands underneath you. Shimmy your shoulders. Stretch out your belly, literally. Okay. Lift, lift, lift the hips. Never used those props, did we? And pause here. I want you to feel your heels pressing down evenly. And as your heels press down evenly, feel your pelvis lift up. And consider your frontal hip points drawing towards one another. And know that that gives your, your legs an internal rotation. The inner thighs roll down. And as you keep pressing the center of your heels, keep lifting your pelvis up and allowing your inner thighs to roll down. And then feel your outer upper arms root, but keep your chest very lifted. Okay. And then softly set it down. Okay. So second back bend. I'm going to ask that you either stick with bridge. So why don't you stick with bridge today? Okay. Or we're going to go on to Urdhva Dhanurasana wheel, but the first one we're going to do slow. So like a very good student, he put the block between his legs so that he could keep the internal rotation of the inner thighs, which we just did in our bridge pose. Do the first one slowly. So what I'm going to ask you to do is come to the crown of your head and pause. So once you're on the crown of the head, don't go up. I know who you are. I will come and find you. Pause at the crown of your head, and I want you to do three actions. One, elbows in line with shoulders. You need to give the forearms a little bit of a squeeze in. Don't go up. Action two, push your shoulders into the sockets. Okay? Now action three, don't go up yet, it's worth it. I want you to bring your chest towards the back of your mat. Chest lifted, lifted, lifted. Now keeping all that slowly. No more chest back, just straighten your arms. No more chest back, just straighten your arms, even if they're at an angle. No more chest back, straighten the arms a little more. Don't let that block fall and slowly come down. Excellent. Okay, no it's strict. So this next one, so certain, we optimally align certain things so that we can feel ultimately open in a very safe and an intelligent way. But to a certain extent, things become imprinted and we don't want to obsess over them. So this next one, come up, use your breath and feel it out, okay? Crown of the head, come on up. Trained to pause at the crown of his head. Good. And breathe. 
Nice, delicious, even back bend. Try to press your hands and feet evenly down into the mat. Nice, keep those frontal hip points moving together. And just three more delicious ujjayi breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. Two more. Mmm, one more. And softly come on down. All right. Hug your knees into your chest. Ah. And very gently, I'm going to ask that you roll yourself up to sitting. Okay. Roll it up. Both legs come out in front of you. Okay. And I want to take Mary Chastin to see is, is kind of a deep twist to end with. So bend your right leg. Mm -hmm. So the foot a little bit away from the inner thigh. And you're going to hook the left elbow to the right leg. The right arm's going to come back behind you. And have the foot a little bit away from the inner thigh, so not touching. Yes. Flex your left foot. Have it active. And then open, 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 open. Roll the right shoulder back. Roll the right rib cage back. Beautiful. Feel the shoulder blades melt a bit. One more breath. And come back to center. Okay, right leg out, left leg in. Mm, hook the right elbow. Yep, have the left arm back behind you. And then again, sit up nice and tall as you inhale. Find the twist as you exhale. Roll the shoulder back, roll the rib cage back. Good, keep the front leg active. One more breath. And come back to center. Beautiful. Both legs out in front of you. Okay, separate your feet just a little bit, right? And then inhale, reach your arms up very gently, slowly. Exhale, forward fold. Let your hands land wherever they land. And as you inhale, get a little more elongation into the spine. And as you exhale, gently, forward fold. Make this about giving almost the lower back a gentle massage. Make this about letting your spine melt to your chest. Notice if the mind has already convinced you to hurry up or that you need to start thinking about those lists. Nothing in your body needs that right now. Focus on what's softening and what's letting go. Gently come up and bring the soles of your feet together. Parakonasana, soles of the feet. Mm. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold. And just let yourself linger and indulge in this part of the practice. Very, very, very little demands on the body energetically or at a muscular level. Just focus a little more on the exhalations. And as I said, yes, these asanas always make us feel better, but it's our gear shift. It's how we change where we're focusing our attention and our energy, which is combined with all the postures, which allows us to have that feeling after shavasana of just feeling better, a little more content, a little more at peace, at ease. And again, particularly this time of year, which is just a very, very challenging time for many of us. It's not easy. So slowly come up. Hmm, bring your legs together, lie into your backs. And set yourself up for Shavasana. Take your time. Okay, have your feet fall open a bit. Have your palms facing up. Feel that your whole back body is supported by your mat. And like you're taking that one final very large, fulfilling drink of breath in through your nose, all the way to the top of the lungs. Let it out your mouth. And relinquish that attention on your breath. 
and breath control. And once you relinquish that, allow a blanket of quiet and calm to settle over you. And once you feel a little bit of the essence of that blanket of quiet and calm, let go. Let go of the skin, the muscles, the bones, the joints, the ligaments. Let remaining thoughts dissolve. And receive rest. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. And if your body and self are millions of pieces and layers of a puzzle, could it possibly fit together right now at this moment with a little bit more ease? All pieces being where they need to be. Reach your arms and stretch them back. And take a moment of simple gratitude as you stretch that your body was able to do this. It's amazing. We take our bodies for granted. Don't. Hug your knees into your chest. Mm. Roll to your right. Mm. And bring yourself up to sitting. Come to the front. Rest your hands on your knees. Just for a moment, take in, receive all that you just did. We know we give a lot. We rarely press the pause button and think, that's enough. But this practice allows us to feel that pause. And it really is enough sometimes to just take a step back. Enjoy what is quiet and already is being present. Bring your hands to your heart. Admire yourself for showing up every time you do this practice because being present is very challenging sometimes with what comes up. So honor yourself today for doing it. Trust it makes a difference. Feel the space, the movement. Drop your chin a little deeper in gratitude. And then lift your head. Open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much.